Alright guys, uh, Dewey again here, the Vendor Bot Guy. Um, so from the last video at the end, it kind of got cut off a little bit. What I just simply did was just brought the four wires from the resistor and the thermistor through this hole here and screwed this hose connector in. Uh, the threading, if you weren't go going to thread this, you could use a nut down here and just secure that. So just wanted to point that out before we proceed here. What we're going to do today is, uh, or right now, is the Z-axis. We have this, we have this part here, and we have the carriage for it. Uh, this is actually, yeah, carriage for it. And a, this is the X-axis, is stepper, mo stepper motor. We'll deal with that later. It's going to be one of the last things uh, we do uh, mount to the frame, but we're going to need this just to run the wires through. And, um, okay, let's go through this first. Oops. I'm going to need to turn on the computer. This part here is going to be part... It's... Z carriage underscore P as in Paul two uh, part dash zero one nine. Um, for this part, there's a five sixteenth nut that's going to be have to be press fitted in there. There's another five sixteenth nut that's going to be press fitted in there. There's a uh, two ten thirty two nuts that's behind this threaded rod that's going to have to be press fitted in there. This uh, actually goes in like that. So when you put the screw in, it could screw into those two nuts there. I have lithium grease on that rod. Um, if you do use li lithium grease, uh, put it on after the assembly so you don't have to bear, deal with all this mess here. Uh, stepper motor. The, this is the 5 16 threaded rod. This is a Copler, uh, 8 millimeter to 5 millimeter. The 5 16th threaded rod is about 8 millimeters in diameter. The shaft for the stepper motor is, a, is 5 millimeters in diameter. So here's the coupler for that. Um, M3 nuts. This is your motor mount. Motor mount has these two section here to press fit the two 1032 screws in. So that way, when we do screw in the screw, it stays in there. Um, so this is going to be our motor motor for our our drive system for the Z axis. And this part here, uh, pulley support and a in stop switch. This part is part. It's going to be the same part as from the x-axis, one or the other. Um, let me just define it. This part is P1-018. This part here. There's four linear bearings that go inside, two over here and two over here. Uh, in rod support, we have P dash 016 which will be this one correct 016 and all right guys sorry about that the camera kind of cut off there uh, p p dash 016 and p dash 017 uh, we have the in in stop there uh, two 1032 nuts in there uh, what I use to press fit them in make it a lot easier just Put um put something down here so you don't damage the plastic itself, and just use a vice grip and just clamp those nuts down in there. That's the easiest way to do that. Um, yep. So let's begin. What we're gonna do is. The part with the end stop, the end stop is actually the part that's going to be on top. We're just going to feed this wire through here. For 
for now. I'm just going to borrow these two 1032 screws. I think we should be okay. Yeah. Oh well. I'll learn if it doesn't. So I'm just going to press this all the way down like that. And from those two 1032 screws I borrowed, I'm just going to use it to secure it in like this for now. Once we do put this thing inside, this is this two screws here are supposed to be go through here, and the holes for this this is supposed to line up here. Um, is that right? Yeah, this way. This way. Okay, so we have this thing here. Just against that. We're gonna need the wires from our X. I'm just going to put it right here for now. Uh, we have the four wires from these four wires here from the geared stepper motor. These four wires, geared stepper motor, and this one, the end stop for the X, and these four is from the hot head, the resistor and the mister. So we have these here. We have the X wire. And um alright, here comes the hard part. For these these channels here, that's the wire gun. So the wires are gonna go through there. So we need to get there. Let's do the X first. Stepper motor for the X. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. Stepper motor for the X. What I did was I just you could uh just tag it here so you know which wires belong to which or use a piece of blue tape and um make a note of it there. Alright guys, come on. Alright, so our X is in through the wire guide. You don't want to do this, you could go ahead and just fish everything, but it's going to be a lot harder. Let's do the extruder. Or you know what? Let's do these first. This is for the hothead. Hothead. The four wires from the hothead. Put it through the first channel and put it through the second channel. And the hot head wires are in. This is my first time trying this, so I hope it works. We have the... Let's do the switch. The... Stop switch. In stop switch for the x-axis wire here. And now the... Extruder gear stepper motor. Now what we're going to do, is we're basically going 
to lower everything down. You'll be able to twist tie this together just so it's a lot more clean afterwards. Alright, one second while I 